Welcome to the Interval Zero video on configuring local memory in RTX 64. In this video, we discuss the memory allocation options available in RTX 64, how you can manage local memory allocations through the RTX 64 control panel, and ways by which you can optimize those allocation spaces for truly deterministic behavior. We also mention a few additional tools and resources for understanding memory usage in RTX 64. In RTX 64, you can choose to request memory from the local memory pool or from Windows. You can configure this and other memory behaviors in the RTX 64 control panel on the Manage Memory page. Local memory is deterministic. RTX 64 4.0 implements a completely new local memory architecture. There is no longer one global local memory pool, but multiple separate internal and external memory allocation spaces called M-spaces. When you request to use local memory, the subsystem configures all RTSS applications to request memory from local memory M-spaces. Windows memory is non-deterministic. When you elect to use Windows memory, the system configures all RTSS applications to request memory from Windows by default. RTX 64 only uses local memory associated with the process's M-space if calls to real-time APIs RT Allocate Local Memory or RT Allocate Local Memory X are made within your RTSS application. In RTX 64 4.0 and later, local memory is the default memory allocation setting. This is different from 3.x and previous versions where Windows memory was the default selection. The RTX64 subsystem, network abstraction layer and RTTCPIP stack along with each RTSS process and Windows proxy process each has an internal M-space for internal objects and bookkeeping and an external M-space for process allocations. Memory allocation requests from real-time APIs, including from C runtime libs, are allocated within the external allocation space. Memory needs from the subsystem for internal objects are allocated within the internal allocation space. Memory is allocated from one of the process's M spaces unless the memory is required to remain over process exit, such as memory for IPC objects and cross-process shared memory. Such allocations are made from the subsystem's M spaces. This diagram depicts memory allocation for an RTSS process or system process from the Windows non-paged pool to the external and internal M-spaces. We discuss this in greater detail in the Memory Allocation Overview video available at intervalzero.com. The control panel provides a memory profile section that allows you to optimize system resources to use only what you truly need based on your application's requirements. Under Memory Profile, you can modify the amount of available system memory as well as the percentage of that memory that is needed for Windows resources. The amount of memory available to RTX 64 is calculated using two primary values, which you can specify under Memory Profile. Available system memory and percentage expected to be used by Windows. These values are not enforced. Their purpose is to provide a way to visualize and optimize overall system memory usage. The default value for available system memory is based on the amount of available memory detected when RTX 64 is installed. You can verify this against the amount of available memory in the Windows Task Manager Performance tab under Memory. If there is a significant discrepancy between the default value and the amount of available memory shown here, you can update the value in the RTX 64 control panel. By default, RTX 64 estimates that 50% of the available memory will be used by Windows. You can change the Windows usage percentage to suit the needs of your Windows applications. To ensure an accurate value for the percentage of memory used by Windows, we recommend you run your full application in Windows and RTX 64, view the memory usage and customize this value accordingly. The remaining percentage is the amount available to RTX 64. The RTX 64 control panel uses this information as part of its calculations to determine the optimal allocation amount for each M-space. 
The memory profile displays initial local memory usage information for the RTX64 subsystem, monitoring when enabled, network abstraction layer and TCP IP stack. It also shows the approximate number of concurrent RTSS processes that can be run. When changes are made to the local memory allocation values on the page, the usage values and number of concurrent processes update accordingly. This provides a helpful approximation of how memory will be allocated initially and whether there is enough remaining memory to run the number of RTSS processes you require. The initial subsystem usage is the initial amount of available memory used by the RTX64 subsystem. This is mainly used for shared memory and IPC resources. The settings under System Process Memory Allocation Space allow you to configure subsystem local memory allocation behavior. Here you can set the minimum size of the subsystem's internal and external M spaces and determine whether the M spaces will automatically expand and or shrink. We'll discuss automatic memory expansion in the next segment. It is important to be aware of the memory needs for your whole system and specify an initial M-space size that will support them. The subsystem's M-space is created when the first request for memory is made, unless commit at subsystem startup is selected, in which case the memory is allocated as soon as the subsystem starts. The initial monitoring usage shows the amount of memory used by RTX64 monitoring when monitoring is enabled through the control panel. You can change the amount of non-paged memory dedicated to monitoring using the slider under Manage Monitoring Memory Usage. The RTX64 real-time network is comprised of the network abstraction layer and an optional TCP IP stack. You can configure memory allocation spaces for the network abstraction layer and TCP IP stack using the settings available under Network Memory Allocation Space. You can use the settings provided to increase network M space allocations as needed. The initial NAL usage shows the initial amount of memory used by the network abstraction layer. The default value assumes one enabled interface in addition to the virtual NIC. If more interfaces are enabled, you must increase this value accordingly when Auto Expand M Spaces setting is turned off for the NAL. The minimum size of the NAL process's external M space is dependent on the number of enabled interfaces. You can use the following formula to determine the approximate amount of memory you need to allocate. The initial TCP IP stack usage shows the initial amount of memory allocated to the TCP IP stack, including the heap but not including memory allocated by device drivers at startup. The minimum size of the TCP IP stack process's external M space needs to be large enough to support RTTCP IP stack heap allocation and must be at least the RTTCP IP stack heap allocation size plus 2176K. The TCP IP stack must allocate all necessary memory on startup to be deterministic. This allocated memory value should be large enough to include all transmit and receive buffers. You can use the following formula to determine the amount of memory you need to allocate. This does not include memory allocated by the NIC drivers at startup. See the product help for additional information on this setting. The memory profile also displays an approximate number of RTSS processes that can run concurrently. This approximation is based on the remaining memory available to RTSS processes value, which is the estimated remaining memory available to RTSS processes based on all other allocations. The settings under Process Memory Allocation Space allow you to configure application local memory allocation behavior. Here you can set the minimum size of each RTSS process's internal and external M spaces and determine whether the M spaces will automatically expand and or shrink. It is important to be aware of your application's memory needs and specify an initial M space size that will support them. Memory is allocated on the first memory request, 
unless RTSS Run or RTX64 Task Manager is used to start the process with an initial size other than the control panel default, or when a native or managed API is past the initial size of the process's M spaces. This provides deterministic behavior for normally non-deterministic functions. If RTSS processes cannot run due to lack of memory, you must either decrease the process M-space allocation amount or increase the amount of available system memory. On process creation, you can override the default initial M-space size to guarantee your process memory is available when you need it. Fragmentation logic within an M-space has also been optimized so that more of the available memory is utilized. RTX64 is configured to run out of the box with no changes to its local memory allocations. However, real-time processes may require a few optimizations. By default, auto-expand M-spaces is enabled to ensure that additional memory is allocated when the initial memory is exhausted. This ensures that subsystem components and user applications always have sufficient memory to run. However, because expanding memory introduces non-deterministic behavior, there will likely be scenarios where you may want to disable the auto-expand M-space settings. When you disable auto-expand M-spaces for the system process memory allocation space, you are responsible for configuring the amount of memory the subsystem has for internal and external resources for the entire system. This includes subsystem internal M-space resources and shared memory resources needed by the real-time networking components, the NAL and TCP IP stack, tools and utilities provided with the RTX64 runtime, and any user RTSS processes that will run on the system. If there is not enough memory allocated to start the real-time network components and or their enabled interfaces, and their corresponding auto-expand M-spaces settings are disabled, the NAL and or stack M-spaces will expand to ensure they have enough memory to start. See the mini-tutorial Best Practices for Disabling Automatic Expansion of M-spaces in the product help for more information on M-space expansion behavior at Network Startup. When you disable auto-expand M-space for a process, the requesting API will fail when an M-space can no longer fulfill a request. You can set an exception when this occurs. For more information, see the product tech note, local memory registry tweaks to impact fragmentation and performance. RTX64 tools, RTSS Run and Task Manager and Real-Time API RT Create Process include functionalities that can override M-Space defaults on a per-process level. See the help for more information. RTX64 now adheres to the C99 specification on when to zero memory. However, since previous applications may be dependent on memory being zeroed, we provide a zero memory on allocation setting for backwards compatibility. This setting is enabled by default. Zeroing memory causes local memory allocations to be slower, especially for large allocations. To avoid such latencies, we recommend that you disable this setting. RTX64 provides several tools and enhancements that will help you better understand memory usage, so that you can optimize the local memory M spaces to suit your application's requirements. For instance, real-time APIs have been expanded to support M space expansion and shrinking, and for querying usage and fragmentation information. The RTX64 WinDebug extension has been expanded to include information on M-spaces and memory allocations for the subsystem, networking components and each real-time process. RTX64 Task Manager and RTSS Run have been enhanced to allow you to override default M-space allocation amounts and auto-expand behaviors. RTX64 Monitoring now includes raw events for capturing M-space information. Finally, RTX64 4.0 introduces a new command line tool called RTX64 M Spaces, which shows information on all existing M Spaces. You can view memory allocations for the subsystem, networking components, and each real time process. You can also see details on M Space fragmentation and memory layout. Keep an eye on the Interval Zero video library for a separate video that highlights this tool.
This concludes our look at the local memory configuration options in RTX 64. For more information, see the documentation installed with the product and available online, and check out our other product videos available from intervalzero.com and YouTube. Thanks for watching!